we thank you jehovah father god almighty for the reminder of holiness righteousness that is what you want from us to be righteous to be holy and acceptable in thy sight lord and tonight as we get into thy presence and the word minister to us lord may your word not go back to you void touch our hearts change us jehovah god almighty the hearts that are hard as stone may you mold us may you mold us jehovah god almighty you are the porter we surrender ourselves to you tonight submitting our relationships with you to before you submitting our lives wholly to you lord king of glory for you know that which is right and lead us in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake father order our steps lead us to the place where you want us to be may our relationships bring glory to your name may our relationships bring honor to your name may we be honorable people men and women that are serving you with integrity in the name of jesus father we pray that you forgive us in areas where we have fallen short forgive us tonight jehovah god because your word says all have sinned and fallen short of thy glory and i pray tonight lord king of glory that you will accept us back to the place of holiness to the place of righteousness in the name of jesus that we will represent Present the kingdom as well as it deserves to be represented in the name of Jesus I pray amen amen we talked about the relationship issue right here and talking about kissing during a relationship and let me read that question again as I give you scriptures now how do I deal with my boyfriend who constantly wants us to make out or kiss? He says the Bible allows greeting each other with a holy kiss as long as we don't sleep together. Is it okay? Kissing before marriage. Is it okay? Now, before I read that scripture, let me ask you, when you're kissing someone, what are you expecting during the kiss what is the end goal of a kiss what is the intention of a kiss you might say that a, a, a kiss is it just i'm just saying hello i'm just kissing this person but what is associated with kissing someone and especially on the lips leave, leave alone the peck you know on the cheeks on the forehead but on the lips what is associated with kissing and you kiss with your hands away from your your partner's body making out yet you might not sleep with this person but the intention the process has an ending the process of kissing has a destination it has a destination whether you like it or not let me read scripture for you. The Bible says in the book of First Thessalonians, chapter twenty-two, chapter five, verse twenty-two to twenty-four. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Wow. Abstain. The Bible is not even talking about abstaining from evil. It says, abstain from all appearance of evil. If whatever you are doing as a person, if whatever you are doing as a single person in this relationship, you need to look at the angle. Does this thing look okay? Is it holy? Is it righteous? Is it acceptable before God? Does it appear? Any in a, does it appear? Is there any appearance of evil? When you're moving towards kissing this person, what comes into your mind? What is the end goal of this kiss? Is there an appearance of any evil in that? The Bible says, abstain from all appearance of evil. Kissing leads to sex outright. 
kiss it might not happen the first day it might not happen the second day but trust you me even in your head there's something that this body attracts there's this connection there's the chemistry that happens when you lock lips with somebody else it's not like greeting hands sometimes even greeting kushika mkono ya mtu sasa zingine unasikia tu mwili inachemuka tu how about kissing the end product inakuwa namna gani una Yani, can you go to the house of God in the, on the pulpit and say praise the Lord now before we start uh, praising the Lord turn to your neighbor and give your neighbor a holy kiss on the lips can it happen absolutely not so the bible says abstain from all appearance of evil it's not even come into the place of the evil itself the end of this kiss is seen you start slowly by slowly and the writer continues to say in verse 23 and the very god of peace sanctify you holy and i pray that your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our lord jesus christ you shall be blameless unto the coming of our lord jesus christ be blameless until you get to the altar be holy and righteous until you get to the altar faithful is he that calleth thee who also will do it remain faithful and avoid abstain from all appearance of evil eh kama kuna any appearance of evil kwa hiyo kissing and i know a good number of people kiss during relations ati unajua mimi you know ni chari yangu nampeda tunapedana eh ni mikono tunaweka huku kwa kishwa hmm is a joke is a lie from the devil now romans chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 the bible says i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service now when you're going around kissing your person where do you kiss mna kissing mikiwa wapi in the streets of nairobi where do you kiss this person after service umemaliza ibada umeenda pale kwa you know kwa groups zenu and then you're like hi baby girl come unam kiss do you do that can you can, okay can you do that because you're dating this person it means it is not right it is not right if you can't kiss this person even in front of your pastor yeah Uwaseme sasa kwa heri let's meet on Sunday God bless you youth let's go to this other side the singles to this side and greet each other with a holy kiss can you do that it can't happen it therefore means that it is wrong there's a scripture that says that these are the unproductive fruits of darkness unproductive fruits of darkness things that are done in darkness yeah unafanya kwa giza because you wouldn't want anybody else to know it is wrong kissing before marriage is wrong second timothy 2:22 therefore now flee from youthful lusts and pursue righteousness faith love and patience with those who call on the lord from a pure heart now this verse commands us to flee the strong lusts that occur in our youth. Now the Greek word that is translated as flee is fugo and it simply means to avoid doing something. Avoid it. The Greek word says avoid it. Avoid these strong passions. Avoid these strong passions and emotions you know that's what the bible says avoid cuz kissing someone there's an emotion that pushes you towards kissing this person whether a lady or a man and it is as a result of last period it is as a result of the last of the flesh because you don't have self control and somebody called me earlier and said that this is a test of your self control cuz kissing inakutest self control yako 
Because it is the body. It is the body that is pulling you towards that. You want to do this. You want to hug this person. You want to kiss this person. Yeah? You feel too vizuri too. Eh, you frye. Flee away from all that. This verse teaches us that we are not to intentionally cause ourselves to experience the passions that are especially strong at our age. Run away from that. Flee from all that. So kissing before marriage is wrong. It is actually a sin. Because when you're kissing this person, the Bible says, Jesus said, even before you, f- you, you sleep with this person, the imagination of the act itself in your head, it is as good as you have already lied with this person. The call towards purity is a high call. And that is why I go again to the scripture that I just read. That present yourself as a living sacrifice. It is something that you need to do daily to crucify this flesh. Crucify the flesh. Because the enemy will always be pulling you towards that. You have to crucify. You have to take care of it. You have to tame this body. And present yourself as a living sacrifice. Kissing is a sin. It is wrong. The end product is sex. Outright. It might not happen the first day. Not the second day. Or the third day. But eventually. Mutanza up kwa forehead. Start from the forehead. You go to the to the cheeks and baby good night mm-hmm. the lips kidogo kidogo you hang you, your tongues are locking there slowly by slowly ah, and the bible says don't give the devil a foothold don't that because so that the devil does not take advantage of us because the moment you open this door the devil will you you've given the devil a chance and an opportunity and a legal right to come through And do whatever he wants to do with you. Be careful. uh, Flee from all youthful lusts. And present yourself as a living sacrifice. If you cannot kiss each other after the service. Apokanisani. Yet you're dating. Then it means it is wrong. Avoid avoid and again avoid pearl radio the home of fresh and classic hits